Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is the very first day of the Marvac show. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you every single motorhome that we have in the show. I counted, it is 49 motorhomes. So I'm really excited to take you on a tour of every single one. I've never done that before. So it's really exciting. And you guys are gonna hear me reference 143 RVs. That's how many RVs we have in this show. And before I started this video, I thought I would get every single RV, but I was unable to accomplish my mission. And so this video is only gonna be motorhomes. I will have another video in the next day or two showing you all the travel trailers and fifth wheels. Let's get into the video. It starts today, October 4th, and it goes through October 8th. Here's what's really exciting. Obviously I'm with the general RV display and general has this beautiful parts display right over here and then look at what they got on the shelves here burr, 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 burr. doesn't that look beautiful liquify guys you can get that by clicking the link in the below go to primepoopposition.com and you can now get it at your local general rv and what we're doing if you're coming to the show wednesday and thursday we're giving away 50 free bottles each day be at the parts display at 6 p.m. Friday, we're giving away 50 bottles. Be at the parts display at 5 p.m. And then Saturday and Sunday, we're giving away 50 bottles. Be at the parts display at 1 p.m. It's the first 50 people in the parts display at that time. Truthfully, I don't know how they're gonna do it. I think it's gonna be a little chaotic. And we're not giving away the orange bottles. We're giving away the lavender bottles during the giveaway. So can't wait to see everybody at the Marvac show. Let's get into the first unit. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is one of the very rare videos that you will see me make a YouTube video for RV life and not be in a polo. Um, that is because I need to be in my athletic gear because I definitely think this feat is going to be a lot harder than what I think it's going to be. And... It's kind of fun that it's gonna be like a little bit of a challenge. And so right now we have eight aisles of RVs and in each aisle is just tons and tons of RVs. And so we got 143 to look at. I'm going to set my backpack down here. And you know what? We're gonna start with this Newmar Baystar. Now, if you guys see something that you like, just click the link in the bio, contact a member of my team. You don't need to be here to get these show prices, but when you guys see that it's a 2023, that price is for that stock number only. So this one being 257870. This is a Numar Baystar 3626. Now, a lot of these units I have videos on. So when I'm telling you guys the year making model, just if you Google search that and then you type Matt's RV reviews afterwards, you will see us with a review on it. This is a very beautiful motorhome. MSRP 276, 626, show price 199. Walking across. It's gonna be a Newmar Dutch Star. By the way, I'm filming this and it is 7.30 at night, the night before, October 3rd. MSRP 716, show price 489 on stock number 282271. So first and foremost, I wonder if I'm gonna finish tonight I bet you I run out of batteries or memory cards and I bet you I'm gonna have to come here early tomorrow to finish but you guys will all see it as one video and if you're wondering if I made it or not fast forward to the end don't do that watch the whole thing or fast forward somewhere to the halfway point and I will answer that or Watch the whole thing in support of Matt's RV reviews because this is crazy, guys. By the way, this is a world record. Nobody has ever in the history of ever shown this many RVs on the inside and outside. 
doing tours with prices ever at one time in one video so if you guys really could i know i beg and i ask and blah 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 please smash that thumbs up button for me because this is a tough challenge stock number 274867 249 msrp show price 169 oh <sighs> again finally just so you guys know again even though this shows in michigan if you buy if you contact my internet team and you buy this unit we can ship it to any one of our stores that sells Numar. Okay? So that's Virginia, Utah, uh, Illinois, I believe. You know, those stores. If you see a Tiffin, you can get it in Jacksonville. If you see a Fleetwood product, you can get it anywhere. Integra, you can get that in Ocala or Richmond or tons of tons of places so 2023 vision xl 34b with the optional full body paint i'm surprised we still have this to be honest with you msrp 226 show price 159.9 all right absolutely beautiful let me uh turn that off some you guys know i love integras residential fridge nice dinette all right there you go nice sign right there stock number 233029 and I do apologize if this video is too fast for you I've never, ever, ever done a video like this. It is the world record. And so it might be great and it might be horrible. I do not know. This is a 24 bounder. And this one I will show you. Does have the new headlight design. Andre and I filmed it, filmed the new headlight design at open house that video will be coming sometime in the next week or two but the insides didn't change much fleetwoods are absolutely beautiful and this is model 35k which is bath and a half All right. I would like to take this moment. Guys, I'm gonna to talk to you guys a lot today. So we are going to talk about everything Matt's RV reviews business-wise and personal-wise. So I would like to give a big shout out to my friend Jaime Camille. He is an avid RVer, and he's a host of the new TV show on CBS, and I'm going to butcher the name wrong. This is the all-new accolade. It is freaking amazing. The TV show name is called Larita Loca, and here's my buddy Jamie, and he's such a good dude, and then afterwards, he FaceTimed me and asked my opinion of the show. And it's just so cool knowing like a celebrity, you know what I'm saying? And he's a fan of the show and, you know, we were talking, he was asking, he wanted to know three things I liked about his new show on CBS and three things I didn't like. And it's funny because little does he know, I am a huge fan of television game shows. I love The Price is Right. I love Wayne Brady, Let's Make a Deal. I love Steve Harvey Family Feud. I love all of those TV game shows. So my opinion, I don't want to say my opinion mattered more, but 
I knew what I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like asking somebody who's never been in an RV, how do you like this RV? They're going to say it's great, but they have nothing to reference to. And so I really like game shows. And so that's really exciting. He was telling me a little bit about the business and how it works with ratings and everything. And I need to reach out to him tonight when I'm done this. Hopefully I'm not too tired because um, I need to ask them because they get their ratings reports back the very first day of the show. So he said that they pretty much know if it's going to be a success or not. So hopefully it was a success for him. This is the all new Flair 32N stackable washer and dryer. They redid this floor plan. This floor plan did have two full bathrooms. Now it's bath and a half with a stackable washer dryer. And I didn't see a sale price on this unit. And I apologize for that. It's a 2024 Flare 32N. Oh man, I do apologize for that. Not every unit's going to have a show or sale price. You know, when there's 143 RVs, it's very hard for them to be perfect. All right. Here's the next one. This is a Holiday Rambler Armada 40P. And this is a new floor plan. Show price, $379,995. And guess what, y'all? Our friend Tommy Bennett actually helped design this floor plan. Now, if you look at this floor plan, you're saying, hey, this isn't new. This is pretty much the 40G, which from the bedroom back, you would be 100% right. It is the 40G, okay? The difference is in the 40G, the bed was right here and the, the this was over there and it didn't flow as well. And so Tommy went to the engineers and he said, hey, switch this up and look at how more spacious it feels shout outs tommy bennett and if you guys haven't heard tom actually has his own youtube channel now uh thing is called rving with american tom make sure you guys subscribe to him and support he's good people he's helped us a lot with the show especially with the big diesels down in tampa and he's putting in the work trust me the work of YouTube is very, very tough. Guys, we got a 2023 Integra Coach Aspire. Stock number 292539. Show price of 399. Wow, this one looks real nice. Look how bright it looks. Posing sofa. You know, normally it's funny because I love me some Integra gas motorhomes. But I'm not a huge fan of their diesel motorhomes, to be honest with you. And you guys are going to ask me why, and it has nothing to do with quality or chassis, because they're both fantastic. I just don't like the way they look, you know, personally. But this one is actually catching my eye, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Now, when it comes to quality, it is nothing but quality when you're buying an Integra diesel. So... Very, very nice. Man, I really hope I I finish this video. Because we're on aisle one. And we're not even done yet. This is, might be a little tougher than what I thought. But I do it for you, General RV. All right. Next one is a Tiffin Phaeton. Perfect. Now, what we might do is we might split this video up into two parts, a complete motorhome part and a complete towable part, but that's loser's mentality, y'all. I don't want to think like that. I want to think I can do it all in one video, but if you guys are watching this video, you already know the answer, and what's funny is I don't know the answer yet. Guys, this is the Tiff and Phaeton. This is a beautiful motorhome. 
Big shout outs to Lee Tiffin for finding me an open house and asking to do a collaboration. Not a collaboration, but he's like, hi, mate. You gonna do any videos on Tiffin? And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do them with you. I want you to be in the video. And he's now, you can call him president of Tiffin or CEO of Tiffin, I, I don't know. He called himself president, so I don't know all the formalities there, but he's running it under the Thor Industries umbrella. Not to be confused with Thor Motor Coach. Thor Motor Coach is a division of Thor Industries, same as Tiffin and Jayco and Integra and Airstream and all of them. They all run independently under the Thor Industries umbrella. Very nice. All right. Nosy Posy, that's what we call Yuna. We call her Nosy Rosie because she always gets into uh, just a little nosy dog. It's a uh, Tiffin Allegro Red. Guys, if you like this color, you definitely need to buy this because the Allegro Reds have definitely switched up for 2024. So it's a great opportunity to save tons of money on a 23 and get the interior color scheme that you like. And if you don't like that, don't worry. Wait till the 24s. They are going to look fan freaking tastic. Here's the Thor Aria. I don't see a price on this one. Model is 3901. I do apologize. You might have a price in here. Beautiful. Well, I'll have an MSRP. Four twenty six MSRP. I can safely guess what the show price would be. Hopefully, you guys can too. I will just not publicize it because I've done that once or twice and I've been wrong. And I do not like being wrong. I never want to tell somebody too high of a price. And no disrespect, America, I definitely don't want to tell you too low of a price either. Because that's how you get the phone call from the big guy. Or even worse, if the big guy's here, and then they let you know you're a mistaken person. Mm-mm-mm. Don't want to do that. I'm too smart for that. All right. And then a wrap-up row number one. The Coachman Sports Coach 365 RB. This is a diesel pusher. It's the best priced diesel pusher in the show. It's the price of some of those gas motor homes at the start of the row. Show price 209.995. See, I love Sports Coach. Very nice looking class A diesel pusher. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh man eight rows of this I'm not gonna lie guys I need you guys to smash that thumbs up button even though you're not doing it live I need motivation cuz I'm not gonna lie this might have been I might have picked the wrong show to do this cuz you guys ready for this in this show General RV of Wixom Michigan sells Coachman Newmar Integra, Fleetwood, Holiday Rambler, American Coach, Tiffin, Newmar, East to West, and those are just, oh, Gretsch, and those are just the motorhomes. Winnebago, for towables, you ready for this? Alliance, Grand Design, Brinkley, Keystone, they now have Keystone Cougar, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Prime time, Forest River. Just tons and tons of stuff going on here. So here's a Murata 32 LS. All right, 2024.
very beautiful. And it appears to me that the Marauders in the Encores are starting to almost blend together. I still like the Encore better with the headlight design, but to each their own. I'd say if you saw this unit and you rather have the Encore, you could safely buy the Encore because it's going to be so similar to the Murata without even seeing the Encore, if that makes sense. How are you? Good, sorry. No, you're totally fine. Now we got the 29 XBS. See, what's really exciting is it is 7.30, 7.40, or 7.50 now at night. Those carpenters will be here all night getting the show set up for everybody. There's so much work that goes on into an RV show. It's unreal. And as you can see, they're not even finished with the advertisements yet. They're still working on it in the bedroom there. Very nice motorhome. The Pursuit's such a nice motorhome for, for a great price point. 109.9. Come on, for 2024. All right, next up, we have a Thor Ace. Looks like model 29D, which it is. Let's see if we got a good sale price here. 119.995. All right. Let's take a look at it. I'm wondering if there will ever be a motorhome, a Class A again, that will be less than 100,000 sale price. Truthfully, to see that coachman at 109.9 and even worse this ace at 119 and i'm not hating on the price i just think the days of a brand new class a sale price being 99.9 is probably probably gone gone with the wind but hey you never know sales managers they get crazy you know they got goals to hit and you never know how much flexibility we have on sale prices how much motivation a sales manager has to get that unit gone. All right, Miramar 36.1. Beautiful motor home. Now we do sell Miramars down in Florida and we sell them. Master laid on. We sell the, hang on, we got music. We got to turn this music down before we get a copyright strike. And let me tell you, we are not gonna get a copyright strike on a video this long, that's for dang sure. But we do sell Miramar in Florida. We sell them at our Jacksonville store. Oh, this one, oh my God, this is so funny. So this is the unit that I called the Cooker's Dream Kitchen. And then people are like, what's a cooker? It's like, do you mean a chef? And I'm like, What's funny is, what you guys don't realize, I did that on purpose. And then it triggered a bunch of people to say there's no such thing as like a cooker. They're chefs. I know. <laughs> That's little things us YouTubers do to make people comment, to make you guys comment down below. So I thought that was funny. So comment down below right now if you saw that video and you, uh, in you saw that i called it cooker that is so funny that's a one sport 34j mm -mm -mm. stock number 280439 very nice all right Check out this unit. You know, we got nice here, nice there. All right, very nice. All right, great storage, king size bed. 
very, very nice. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. We are one and a half aisles down out of eight. And I am already starting to break a sweat. And my legs are starting to hurt. Now, no, it is eight o'clock at night and I did work all day. I, I filmed with Andrea earlier today. I helped set up the stickers here at the show. And I took Yuna to the dog park and I haven't eaten dinner yet. Dinner just got delivered to the hotel. And I thought I'd be able to do this. <laughs> you guys don't want to know. I'm all like, yeah, I'll be an hour or two. That's what I told Andrea. And I think I'm dead wrong. It's the new Thor Luminate. Very nice. Thor Luminates are beautiful. Stackable washer dryer, residential style refrigerator. Very, very nice. If you guys can see, I am wearing a pickleball shirt. Me, Will, and Jen, we are all now avid pickleball players. And we were supposed to play with uh, Coley Brady last week. If everybody who knows Coley Brady, let him know that he uh, he got scared, couldn't handle the heat, and canceled playing pickleball with us. So, when we were in Elkhart, Indiana, and it's okay, Coley. Listen, you make a great fifth wheel in Alliance, but we understand. We understand if you can't take the heat. He don't know. He does not know. Twin beds in the rear. This unit is fantastic. You wanna know who else can't take the heat? Me. I'm telling you now, you guys are probably watching this video and it's probably a motorhome only video to be honest with you. I think I'm soft serve guys, I think. I think I need to see I'm coming to the B vans so maybe maybe I'll get more energy here look at this Gretsch 2024 Strata Ion beautiful Gretsch is definitely the best of the best when it comes to B van manufacturers they are just beautiful wow wowzers I forget what I was saying though. That's the video that published two days ago now. The Winnebago Travato Spitfire. Dude, if you're looking to buy a motorhome, our Wixom store sells all of them it seems like. It is freaking amazing. Look at that. 159.9 Winnebago 24D with the full body paint. Mercedes. So beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Surprised my GoPro hasn't overheated yet. The B vans. Never have I loved B vans so much instead of right now for touring them. Cause they will, cause maybe I won't need to walk up and down the steps. And for everybody who's complaining right now, about me complaining. I just had this idea earlier today and I didn't know what to expect, brother. But listen, I can't do it unless I try. And that's what it's all about trying. 
and I am trying. See, I'm not even like sweating yet though, so I feel I am sweating, but I don't look drenched, so I don't expect anybody to have mercy on me. Look at that sale price though. Very nice. Here's the uh, Travato. 59k spitfire guys comment down below let us know what you think about the spitfire paint job mm. i think it looks good okay there it is y'all there you go i love me a b-van now show the outside show what the rear looks like like that y'all just like that this one here we got a soulless winnebago soulless 59 px a 2023 very nice you can see the beds tilted up on the inside okay let's see if they got a sale price documented somewhere maybe not No sale price yet. They will have it. Reach out to Becky B and there is a pop top. If you guys do want to get a sale price on this unit. And then next, the Winnebago Revel. I don't think there's a sale price on this one either. There is a sale price on that beyond. All right. Winnebago Revel, MSRP is 217, 682. You can see what it looks like when the bed's all the way up. You got a ton of space in there. Nice uh, little dinette. Okay, here's the bathroom. It also doubles as storage. Mercedes cockpit. This one does have the 4x4. Nice little fridge. Very nice. Then right here, a 2024. Coachman Beyond at 137995. Get the heck out of here. And in stock, immediate delivery. Come on now. You could two years ago, you couldn't find these in stock. Now we have some in stock. And we have an aggressive sale price on it. Let's go, guys. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, while I'm in a wet bath, I do want to let everybody know, liquefied our black tank toilet treatment is good for your black tank and your gray tanks. So what liquefied is, is an enzyme and bacteria, bacterial, enzyme and bacteria. And you'd be surprised how bad your gray tanks actually stink. A lot of people have stinkier gray tanks than they do black tanks because the black tanks are designed to at least help with the smell and gray tanks aren't well not only that people when you wash your food and stuff here's a galleria when you wash your food um and your food goes down into your gray tank that starts to mold up and everything and really start to stink all right so coachman's doing a whole interior design change of their galleria so if you like this you need to buy a galleria today right now and if you don't like this and you want to wait for the new interiors then wait for the new interiors very nice the stock number 288546 then we got a sanctuary across the way very small 19 foot mercedes stock number 281244 i don't know though i don't see a sale price on this one and again we're not not putting sale prices on it it's just um they're just working on it msrp is 174 though again there's 143 rvs here at the show so I'm not going to lie. I don't think we're going to see them all. 
I think I'm gonna fold in the towel. So, got an Integra Ethos here, 20D with the pop top, 2024. Look at that show price of 125,995. Look at this, the four seater. Got a nice little pop top. Got cereal bowls right there. This is an awesome tailgater style motorhome. That is for sure. Calero, 20K, not 20K price, <laughs> 20K model number. Just like this. Wow. Tegra launch, Thor scope. Tegra launch, 2023 with that orange stripe. You know I'm loving that. That's when the lights aren't on. Sorry about that, the lights just aren't on. And then here we have a Thor scope 18M for only 89,995. So yes, we've seen class A's get priced out of the $100,000 range, but there's still some class B's that are very simple design and they're still able to accomplish that, which is very good. You know, I'm not a huge fan of class B's, but I am a huge fan of being under $100,000. So whenever that's possible, that is very exciting. Now over here in the final row that I'm going to do, I'm already throwing in the towel. We're not gonna take a look at the towables. We will have another video on that. And when you watch that video, you guys are allowed to make fun of me because you know I wanted to put it all in one video and I just can't because I'm a weak worm, but, and you know what? We might have two videos. We might have a travel trailer video and a fifth wheel video. But here, we did just become a Keystone Cougar and Outback dealership here at General RV in Wixom, which is very exciting because Cougars are like impossible to become a new dealer with. And um, there was an acquisition of a dealership here in Michigan that sold Cougar. And Cougar didn't want to work with that new dealer group. And that's how it became available. Or something like that. Here we got a Tiffin Wayfair 25RW. All right. Here's what's really upsetting to me. So at Open House in Indiana... Andre and I, we did like seven RV reviews. We didn't really focus on RV reviews. We really focused on doing like the what's new for 2022s. But Tiffin has a new rear lounge um, unit. And I get to the dealership and then we had one in stock. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, that stinks. So... Like when, when I go to open house and I have hundreds of RVs to choose from, I like to do the reviews of the stuff that we, it's hard to get at the dealership. You know, the stock, this is a 28S. <sighs> and wait until you guys see the Nexus video that we did of the world debut of the new Wraith with the Freightliner chassis. Dave Middleton, the owner, joined me on that video, and he did something super special for us. And here's what I will say. That is not a prime poop position, but they made sure on their new Wraith that it was a prime poop position. And let me tell you something. I didn't give them a prime poop position just because they were there 
or just because they wanted it. They really did earn it with that unit. So it was a lot of fun. It was a great review. And I can't wait for you guys to see that next week. Man, a 2024 Viper 99.995. Brand new. Three slide outs. Sheesh. Take my money, y'all. Take my money, y'all. That's why we're here. Here to sell you an RV. All right. Here's something exciting for everybody. So, our business liquefied. We're finalizing what would be called not a royalty a licensing deal with the people that make the toilet sensors okay they have certified that century chemicals blend of enzymes and bacteria is certified by them certified by them that they are the proven and chosen source to clean your sensors in a toilet. Oh, hang on a second. Oh man, hang on a second. Where's the volume? Nope, I'm turning the volume up. Let me turn the volume down. There you go. Sorry about that. But they, they, they determined that Century Chemical, the way they make their formula, is the proper way to clean your sensors and if century chemicals formula which by the way century chemical makes liquefied if century chemicals formula doesn't clean your sensors then nothing will clean your sensors other than maybe like a deep clean right or your sensors are broken you know it's very very tricky to talk about sensor cleaners because you could have struvite on your sensors or whatever. Master light on. There could be so many possibilities wrong. But I've tested out a whole bunch of different people that have dirty sensors. And they've told me that liquefied has helped clear their sensors. So anyway, with that said, uh, we struck a deal that we will now have a sensor cleaner version of liquefied. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Indiana to the people that actually make the sensors. And we're going to do some videos together. And the whole point of the story is Liquefied will be the only sen Liquefied sensor cleaner. When it comes out later this year, or early next year, will be the only sensor cleaner on the market certified by the people that make the sensors, which is really exciting. Um... I just need to figure out what we do to make sure like maybe we partner with like one of the tank cleaning businesses and hey if you know if the sensor cleaner doesn't clean your sensors you know maybe you get a $20 discount to clean your black tanks out professionally you know what I'm saying Something like that. I'd love to hear everybody's feedback on that. Like, what, what do they think? Um, or maybe they need a new sensor. And maybe, you know, that there's an underlying problem. And, like, we, we definitely can't make it, like, we can't give people, like, a 100% money-back guarantee. Because that would be very hard to do. And then it'd be very hard to prove in the track and everything. And, you know, there'd be people where it does clean their sensors and then they just want the refund anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be very hard to do. So maybe we do something like, hey, if it doesn't clean your sensors, you get $20, $25 off a professional tank cleaning service or something like that, you know? I'd love to hear everybody's feedback. I'm still trying to think through the details. And then what we'll be launching at the same time is our porcelain toilet bowl cleaners. So, a lot of people clean their toilets with bleach. That's not a good idea. 
um century chemical has a toilet bowl cleaner that we will be launching at the same time it will be called liquefied toilet bowl cleaner or something like that and what's going to work really what's going to be really nice about that is it's not going to be harsh chemicals it's and it's not going to disrupt the enzymes and bacteria in your black tank once you use those once you use the formula on your toilet and it goes down into your tank which is really really important so that's all stuff coming in the future and i can't tell you guys how much i appreciate you guys watching this video but not only that supporting our business and if you guys could do the biggest favor in the world for me it would be if you love liquefied in matt's rv reviews you spread the word not just about matt's rv reviews but about our company liquefied because guys as you saw earlier looking at that display shelf we are kicking butt and taking names and we're a real company y'all and we're really doing this thing and you want to know what else i'm really doing the rest of this aisle here's a 31 wv andre and i reviewed one of these earlier today not this one though and let me tell you she didn't andre did not like this one she did not like the brown with the beige with the white with the silver she did not like the color scheme in here and you guys will see that in about four weeks maybe three weeks i don't know it's really nice that we're back and we're done with the hershey show we're able to uh get a little bit ahead on videos and let me tell you guys something here's what i will say the reason why i'm unable to put all the travel trailers and fifth wheels and toy haulers and motorhomes into this one video is only because of time if i was able to take you know an hour like film this part take like a little break film the next part take a little break you know i'd be able to have it all in one video not only that we're gonna have it all filmed and it's just, just gonna be in three videos but that's the whole thing i literally want this video out first thing so you guys know where to find us here at the show so you guys know about the show like if i had all weekend to shoot this video and then it publishes the day after the show that kind of stinks for everybody who wanted to come to the show and take advantage of it that's the whole thing so very nice entrada with bunk beds 99.9 it was very nice east to west just makes a really nice looking class c motor home uh -uh -uh. here's the 2950 with the outside kitchen also 99.9 like come on you know what a great price and this is just a great motor home as you guys know i demoed one of these for six months it was the 2900 ds without the outside kitchen and what i had was those extra storage drawers but a lot of people are liking the outside kitchen and they don't need all that storage i know we didn't need all that storage that sink's still in the way of making that a prime poop position though Mm -mm -mm. very very good all right leprechaun 319 mb by the way if you guys look at this oh snap general rv just this is me earlier today oh man just like that oh there you go Jeez, so stupid um look at me pretending like it's a mentos commercial the leprechaun looks exactly like the freelander now so this is like a new change for 2024 i guess they're putting the leprechaun on that same level of the freelander which isn't a bad idea you know just different inside 
But guys, it is now 8.30 at night. Oh my gosh. I appreciate everybody who's been watching so far. And we got two more units to show everybody. And then I'm going to get out of here. I haven't even had dinner yet, to be honest with you. So, I got to get me some dinner. Because I'm not going to lie. I feel like that's why I can't do anymore. Because I'm hungry as well. I'm sad and hungry. <laughs> I'm not sad, but I am kind of sad. I'm sad that I'm a loser and I couldn't make it over in one video for you guys. But the whole thing is, I gotta get it out. I gotta get this uploaded, edited, chopped up tonight, uploaded or downloaded first and then uploaded in the uh, Wi-Fi at the hotel isn't the strongest, but I want this up. I want this video to go live at noon because the show opens at one. Very nice unit. Oh guys, this is a 27 QB. There's no slide outs in here. I love this because it still feels super spacious. It doesn't feel like you're in a motorhome without slide outs and it doesn't feel like it's taken away from anything. What was the price on this? Oh man, are you kidding me? No price on that. I'm sorry, America. But I'm wondering what the price is on that with no slide outs. And then to wrap it all up, we got the Coachman Cross Trail 21XG on this Ford Transit chassis. Very, very nice. Corner bed here. Let me see how many units this was. This was 13 plus 19. That makes 32 plus 22 is 32 plus 22 is 54 minus 5. That is 49 motorhomes. 49 motorhomes that we tore today. Let me just look down the very next aisle to make sure that there's no more here. No more motorhomes at least. But guys, this is what the show looks like. That's it. No more motorhomes. This is what the show looks like before the show. And let me tell you something. It's what it looks like just hours before the show. Literally, gates open up in 15 hours and these people need to finish and get to bed. So shout out to General RV for our service team who puts it together. And whoever the carpenter is, I think they're for the building. They're either the showroom carpenters or whatever. Sorry that I don't know who they are, but shout out to them as well for always working after hours to get this show set up for you in about 48 hours. All of these units took 48 hours to get them from the dealership to the parking lot, parked up, set up, staged, and everything so you guys could see all your favorite inventory at one time at one place thank you guys so much sorry i was not able to get sorry i was not able to break the record and to get 143 rvs in one video i did try in the beginning but at least we got to see all the motorhomes and make sure you guys stick around because we will have another video coming to you with travel trailers and fifth wheels thank you again see you tonight with another what's new for 2024 tonight at 7 p.m.